Morning. Good morning. It's been it's been a morning for me. I um, decided to make some adjustments to my handlebars this morning, and it's not gone to plan. Um, I took my aero bars off to make some adjustments underneath the stem. That was all fine, but then trying to get my handlebars, but uh, my aero bars, sorry, back on did not go well. The screw isn't catching the thread, so I'm not sure if it's a screw issue or the clamp issue. I'm going to hope it's a screw issue. That means new screw, raw groovy. If it's clamp, then we're buggered. And I might be riding a road bike rather than my pimped up uh, roadie. So we shall see. Uh, but the mechanics here at the expo are amazing. I just dropped the bike off. They will get it done. They're super busy. But while I wait, I picked up a free coffee from um, the Canyon Sand. So it's been nice on it. Double espresso. Smells amazing. And I've also been given by them a fortune cookie. So I'm hoping this brings me some positive news or thoughts or something I don't know but yeah fingers crossed the bike is sortable sortable fixable um, worst comes to worst I'm riding a road bike you can hire bikes they have some lovely bikes to hire but it's like 500 euros so I guess I just have to bite the bullet and ride my roadie and yeah see how we go I'll keep you updated not sure if you can read this but my fortune cookie says don't date a professional cyclist they're always too tired. So rather than some positive wisdom, it's given me a joke, which I actually needed this morning. So yeah, kudos Canyon. They've done it guys, they have done it. I don't know how, but it looks like a new bolt is in there. And we are back to being a pimped up roadie. Boop, boop. Why are you sitting here, Em, without any leg things on? Because <laughs> I'm too short for the adult size ones. <laughs> I have to wait a little work uh, <laughs> So caught up with a load of the Welsh girls are out here also doing the world champs and we went for a stunning cycle, started on the promenade and then we headed out to the first climb of um, the Nice course. We got lost and in that picture there, there was a few Americans that joined us, which we also led astray because we went the complete wrong way. <laughs> So I didn't really know what to expect with the Parade of Nations, but it was an absolute vibe. The support as we all walked down was amazing. There's a lot of shout outs for the UK being the second biggest nation there, but also so much love for the Welshies and the Welsh Dragon and for Ironman Wales as well. Also got to have an amazing chat with Lucy Charles Barkley and I will share what she said shortly. We then headed off to the Chelsea Sadara run and we got given some shoes to wear. So Em, um, how has your day been? It's been amazing. I've been fangirling all day. What have I done? Pray the nations. Met Lucy Charles Barkley. And who are we about to meet? Uh, Chelsea Sadara. Oh, are you happy? Yeah. We've given us shoes to run in. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. So we are now on trainer runners apparently. Love it. Love it. Love it. Wish us luck. Thanks for coming out. We're super excited to have you and grateful that you showed up for a fun little event. We are really lucky tonight because we have Magic Matt, um, who's my strength coach and performance coach, and he's going to take you through some of my um, like pre-run drills. We can squeeze our armpit down towards our hip, and then just hug your spine a little bit with your shoulder. Not too much. I want to see them on end. Well, they're actually really small. Ooh, yeah. Hello. I think so, it's okay. <laughs> also had a lovely chat with Chelsea Sodaro before the run. I will share what she said shortly. But then we headed out and the prom for the run. We got to run with a lady called Celeste, who was pictured there. She is an incredible woman. She works for The Feed. She is a vice president in the marketing. And what a vibe, what an amazing woman. She is also part of the panel, 
that we got to listen to. There are five inspirational women there. Um, I will pop some details about them in the description, but it was really inspiring to hear um, their stories, to learn about them, to learn how they do life, basically. You can listen, but you can't stare at me. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> How's your day been, Mum? Good. What have you been doing? Walking around. Walking around and getting lost. Yeah. So I've had a mega busy day today. Uh, what have I even done? As you know, I had a bit of a bike panic. I spent a lot of time at the expo, visiting all the stores, drinking lots of AG1, which I love. Um, lots of free coffees, which I also love. Then I met Lucy Charles Barkley. So there is a video on this episode you would have seen. Um, I will share what she said in a few days. Um, same with Chelsea Sodaro. Saw her, we did a little run. Um, then there was a Q&A afterwards and a little panel there with Chelsea and all of her um, not supporters. What's the word? Like sponsors, that's the word. Um, so I had a, yeah, ball, absolute ball today. So now we're just going to have my probably first dinner but we're gonna have two because i'm starving today i've hardly eaten which is not good been on the parade. So i've been oh yeah i've been on the parade thanks mum. i forgot about that i've been on the parade as well um basically all the nations get together in their groups you get your flags you get anything that represents your country and you walk down the promenade on the road and you go all the way to the expo and they just celebrate you and it was awesome and we had a big shout out for wales we were part of obviously the united kingdom but they spotted us with all of our um Iron Man, Wales, Stash, etc., and our, our Welsh flags. So we had a massive uh, shout out, which was lovely. Joanna Murphy on the mic, of course, and she is absolutely awesome. So shout out to Joanne. Um, and yeah, just having my pasta now pasta and tomato sauce. It's protein pasta made with chickpeas and something else. Um, and it's delicious and it's simple and it's quick to, to make. So, and it's cheap. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower in a moment because I still haven't showered since my run because I'm disgusting. And then probably go to bed, unless I'm still hungry, then I might go. There's a lovely vegan restaurant at the bottom of the road. I haven't tried yet, but it looks banging, so I might take a little visit there. But see you soon, guys. Bye.